<clears throat> what did I want to talk about? Okay. <laughs> I haven't made a video in a while. Honestly, I've I just been busy with stuff and, you know, just messing around. I mean, I did want to make a lot more videos in, th in the time, but I don't know. I didn't have many ideas, but anyways, I'm here now, so. Well, the thing I just wanted to talk about today are just a few things. Uh, and this, like, weird misconception about, like, motivation. It's like, oh, John, how do you get... How do you have so much motivation to draw every day? Uh, or how do you, like, <laughs> do that? I, I, feel, I feel so unmotivated all the time. And the thing is, is that, first of all, not every day do I draw. I mean, I try my best to. Well, for the past few months, I've tried my best to draw every day, and which I have, I did a pretty good job of it. But before that, I didn't even draw every day. I would take breaks, like day breaks. It's, like, it's okay. You don't need to be productive like every day. And I think that's a big thing that people don't understand. I think <laughs> like you don't need to be motiv uh, you don't need to be doing something that you think is productive every day. You don't need to do eight hours of drawing every day. Like, that's just unrealistic for yourself. And also, not every time when I draw, do I feel motivated to draw. But I know, like, in the back of my head that I need to draw. So it's more of a question, are you disciplined enough to achieve your goals? Personally, I just want to do art for a living and all that. So my goal is to get good. And the only way to achieve that is to stay disciplined. Motivation is just, like, you know icing on the cake like if i wake up one day and i don't feel motivated to draw i will still try to draw i'll try to do the normal two hours at least to just study something even if, uh, for you it doesn't even have to be two hours it could be like 10 minutes of drawing that's okay but you got it done because the more and more you stay disciplined to do it it more of it becomes like a habit and more of an everyday routine and it's like uh what is it? i think What's his name? Robot Pencil. <laughs> Anthony Jones. He talks about like, oh, if your default state is like the fire isn't even burning, it's going to be tough to, for you to do anything, right? But if you stay disciplined, that fire is always going to be burning. And when you're feeling really motivated, that's when you really just like love everything. Because again, it's like icing on the cake, fuel to the fire, and it's like uh, the best feeling to the end. Um, so I think it's more of a question of can you stay disciplined to do what you want to do? I think that's that's always the question I get. It's <laughs> usually what I tell people. Uh, nothing I want to talk about is just like talent and oh, you're so talented and that's so cool and uh, wow. <laughs> Uh, I don't know, talent's kind of overrated, I think. I mean, yeah, there are, like, talented people, quote-unquote. But to me, it's like, it's almost like it's a little, um, sabotage. Because <laughs> usually, uh, when people tell you, like, oh, you're talented or you're so amazing, people tend to get complacent and it usually, um, ruins them over, right? Or like it screws them over and say, oh god, because later on those people in life will like will never know how to keep grinding because their mindset's always like, oh I'm so talented and I'm so good, I don't need to work on anything, and then they end up not working on anything, and then they just uh, fall behind to the people that aren't talented and become good. It's almost like a parasite. It's uh, and it's something that um that if you could recognize that you do have. But you still are just as hard working as someone that doesn't have talent and wants to take your position from you. You're gonna dominate the scene. It's just uh, it's how it is. At least that's how I see it. I don't know, but yeah, that's how I feel on like talent. It's always amazing to see it in someone. But you know, I I, I do get scared when someone tells me talented. It's just like oh shoot, uh, this thing is uh what do, how do I respond? Cause like. Like, oh, of course I'm gonna say thank you, but it's like, oh no, because uh, I, I have this like anxiety that I'm just gonna start getting complacent and then it, I start you know, freaking out. It's like, oh no, I can't, I can't let it get to me. It's, uh, you know, I don't know, it's kind of weird. So it's like, um, I, like I, I don't know how to word this without it sounding like so arrogant. Where it's like, okay, if someone compliments me, it's like, okay, thank you. 
and that's it. I'm not gonna try to play it up or anything because like I don't want it to like get in my head so if someone says oh John you're so good it's like okay thank you and then I don't think twice about it it sounds really bad I know it sounds really bad but it's it's what I do do because I don't I don't want it to be like the thing in my head it's like John you're good so like just chill out like no and um I guess that's like what kind of feeds into this imposter syndrome that I have where it's like oh I'm a fraud <laughs> I shouldn't be this good. All the people are gonna know that I suck or something. Uh, like the truth can come out. It's like ah, like because I always see these people that are better than me, and it's like ah, I compare myself to them. It's, it's okay. I, I mean, I know it's okay to be not as good as someone else or to be worse or to admire someone. And then uh, yeah, I, I I don't know, but it's like. I know that I have um, a long way to go and it's unrealistic for me to compare myself to someone that's like ages of and ages of way ahead of me. But there are times where it's like I have people that are the same age as me, the same amount of time spent on drawing and it's just like they're, they're I think they're better than me or like just light years ahead of me. It's just like, ah, no, I can't. Um, but I remember my friend saying, um, I really liked it. It was like, um, there's always going to be someone better than you, but the only thing you can do is be unique and be yourself, which I think is more valuable than being quote unquote better than someone else in art, right? Be gives you more of a niche and something, something for some people to grab onto. Yeah. I think like my advice would be someone that's doing like going to the same thing. It's like, uh, draw, <laughs> draw something, but don't even care about how it comes out or how it compares to someone else and the way i do that is by promising myself to never uh, show it to anyone so i have all these sketches that i just delete and i i it's just in my head and as i'm drawing it's usually the, one of the better stuff that i ever have because there's no pressure um of me like having to go like oh this is it has to be good it has to be a pretty girl it has to be like fully rendered and it has to be all this beautiful stuff like no it's i'm never gonna show it to anyone so it's like um why do i need to worry about that i don't and it's just uh it's great i never know how to end these off so 